Hello again and welcome to Reading with Miss Tolliver. Today I will be reading another book to you that is entitled Sky Boys. This book was written by Deborah Hopkins and James E. Ransom. It's the end of winter and your pops has lost his job. So every morning before school, you scour the streets for firewood, hunched down in an icy wind. But look, here's a pile of wood free for the taking, all crafted off from that old hotel they tore down at 34th and 5th. 600 men are working there, leveling, shoveling, hauling, clearing the rubble away. They're getting ready to make something new. Bold, souring, a symbol of hope in the darkest of times. A building clean and simple and straight as a pencil and tall, so tall it will scrape the sky. You drag your pop along to see and tell him what you've heard on the street. Mr. Raskob wants to build the tallest skyscraper in the world. You say taller even than Mr. Chrysler's building? They say it's, it's, it'll be done by next year. They think they can build it that fast, Pop? Things are so bad it seems foolish to even try. He replies. Then he sees your face and adds, of course, you never know. So let the race begin. First come rumbling, flatbed trucks, bundles of steel on their backs, like a gleaming endless river surging through the concrete canyons of Manhattan. This steel is strong and new, only 80 hours old, barely cooled from the fiery furnace of Pittsburgh. Before your eyes, a steel forest appears, 210 massive columns lifted by derricks and set onto concrete piers, sunk 55 feet down to hard rock bottom. Columns so firm and strong, they can bear the full weight of this giant to be, 365,000 tons. Then it's the sky boys show derrick men hoisting swinging, easing each beam into place. High overhead, they crawl like spiders on steel, spinning their giant web in the sky. Watch out, sky boys. Don't slip in the rain or let the wind whisk you away. Wouldn't you love to be one of them? <clears throat> the breeze in, in your face and your muscles are strong as the girder you, you ride? Or you could be a water boy, climbing high with your bucket to bring the sky boys a drink. They'd laugh and call out, keep your eyes on the beam, water boy, and don't look down. As each beam is placed, the riveting gang is there to fasten the frame together. Four men work as one. First man, the heater, gets the rivet red hot in the forge and tosses it up quick. A throw of 50 feet is nothing to him. Second man, the catcher, snags the rivet in his funnel tin can, fishes it out with tongs, and sticks it in the hole. Third man, a bucker up keeps the rivet nice and steady with his bar. Fourth man, the gunman hammers it into the steel good and hard. Toss, catch, steady, Pound, toss, catch, steady, pound. One or two rivets a minute, 500 rivets a day. <clears throat> At the same time, other workers use six, six hoists to carry 8,000 pound loads of wood and steel right to where they're, they're needed and on each floor. Hand powered rail cars on tracks move limestone pipes and wires around. To make the work easier, they are temporary elevators, water tanks, and yes, toilets. 
five lunch stands and even a restaurant. No need to leave the job. Get hot beef stew and coffee here on the unfinished 47th floor. Now, this new in ingenious assembly line construction, each man works as fast as he can, knowing that down below, a hundred jobless men are ready. To take over his spot in a flash, yet knowing to, that the quicker he finishes, the sooner he'll be back in line himself, waiting and desperate for work. From your spot on the sidewalk, you watch the building take shape, bit by bit, piece by piece, like a giant real life puzzle, rising four and a half stories each week. In November, the Sky Boys give a cheer. The skeleton has, has a skin. All 102 stories are done. And by March, the mass of top makes this the tallest building in the world. Like a general launching an attack, the builder sends in more men, bricklayers, mason, carpenters, electricians, plumbers, all hammering, nailing, wiring, and cutting morning till night, week after week, month after month. May 1st, 1931, opening day, finished in record time, 60,000 tons of steel, 10 million bricks, 2,000 tons of marble, 6,500 windows, 70 miles of water pipes, 1,860 stairs, one year and 45 days, 7 million man hours, more than 3,000 men, a trunk of speed, safety, and efficiency, and something else, too, beauty. The ribbon is cut, the crowd swarm in, amazing, spectacular. Now the world can see what New York City's all about. Outside Pop has a big surprise. Let's go on up, he suggests with a grin. I be putting our pennies aside. The crowd sweeps you into the marble lobby. A tall grand lady, clothed head to toes, rich, glowing colors on the center wall. A silhouette glitters like a jewel. The Empire State Building, pride of New York City. To go to the top is a buck for adults. Two bits for kids. Hop on a board for the longest elevator ride of your life. Just swallow if your ears starts to hurt. In no time you're there, but even on tiptoe, you can't see a thing. Then, whoosh, <clears throat> you're up on Pop's back. Gee whiz, you shout. <clears throat> We're on top of the world. Pop shakes his head, disbelieving. If we can do this, we can do anything, he says. Itching to see it all. You jump down and race around the deck, north and south and east and west. All Manhattan lies at your feet. Say, Pop, you call. Do you think there's a kid just like me? Way down there, looking at us up here. After a while, the sun slips away. Tiny lights and stars flicker on bright threads of taxis. Lace the darkness below. The great city shimmers and hums. All around, folks are staring to leave. You beg, please pop a few minutes more, but it's time. So with one last look, you head down to Earth. On the long walk home, you're fuzzy with sleep, holding tight to your father's rough hand, but then at the corner you turn and stop short in surprise. Look, Pop, we can see it. we can still see it from here. Oh, how it lights up the, the night. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. I certainly did. This book was entitled Sky Boys. We will see you next time on Reading with Miss Tolliver.